Hi! In the last video, we learned how to create our own software presets in Lie. However, you may sometimes encounter problems when trying to map parameters in certain VST instruments to one of the eight slots. Most of the time, this issue stems from the fact that not all VST instruments make the parameters available to host applications as standard. Luckily, there's a workaround for this stumbling block. I'll demo the process for some common VST instrument types. For this video, I assume that you're familiar with the normal workflow of mapping your plugins inside Lie. If that's not the case, please watch our last video before resuming with this one. We'll start with the example of a contact library. When I load contact as a VST in Lie and open this library here, the mapping function doesn't detect all the parameters. I was able to map the crossfading between two choir layers to the lateral axis. I could also assign the two tremolo knobs of the choir layers both to the top. And I could map the filter of the subsynth layer to the bottom axis. But now I'm trying to add a distortion effect, and the mapping routine just doesn't react if I try to assign the drive parameter to a slot. To work around this, I have to click on the Automation tab on the left, then on Host Automation. In the list, you'll see all parameters that are already made available for host automation by standard. This includes the parameters that I just talked about before. A red dot indicates that they receive values when I'm playing the touche. I'll scroll down to a free host parameter entry. Assigning them works with drag and drop. Click and hold on them and drag them to the parameter that you want to expose to the host application. A plus symbol will appear whenever you hover over an assignable parameter. Let go and the parameter appears in the list on the left. Assigning it to a slot in Lie will now work as usual. Click on a slot number, click on the parameter, and assign an axis to the slot. Another popular type of software instruments that require a few extra clicks for mapping are those from Spectrosonics. Let's check with Omnisphere. If I try to immediately map a knob, it won't work. The Lie mapping routine just doesn't seem to react to my entries. However, by right-clicking on the knob, you will see an option to manually enable host automation for it. I repeat this for every knob that I want to assign to a slot. Once enabled, assigning the parameters to slots in Lie works just fine. I use speed mapping to choose the three parameters that I just made available. Afterwards, I can assign the axis of Touche. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Now for the trickiest case. Some plugins don't support host automation at all, but they do support MIDI automation. In this case, you'll have to rely on Touche's standalone mode, steering the plugin with direct MIDI CC messages instead of hosting it inside Lie. I'll explain the workflow for this scenario in a separate video, linked in the description. Thank you for watching.